and then it was like someone had sort of flicked a switch and, and the room, everything, reality seemed to change. The floor seemed to be wobbly and suddenly um, there was a realisation that everything that I thought was solid and, and separate, it, that the world wasn't like that. Reality isn't as it seems. It's more like a holographic image, really. Mm -hmm. It's more. It's it's created it spontaneously underneath time and it all appears so our past and our futures are, are really all um, created spontaneously beyond time and suddenly this was known and um, it, it felt as if yeah the walls were sort of wobbly and this illusion that I was in a world where the world was outside me changed and um, the sense of me disappeared more and there was a sense of, of being nothing Mm -hmm. And so, again, the joy was there and this sort of immense feeling of, of love would, would descend and just be there for hours and it was very lovely. And I got very sort of fascinated by the feeling of wood or um, slipping my feet into shoes felt wonderful and just everything felt very lucid and very clear and very lovely. Um, but again, that was, you know, that's... That's just a, a sensation. So in this, in this time when you uh, lost your sense of self, mm. what would happen when emotions arise? Like, would you, would you become angry or would there be any other emotions? And yeah. when they arise, how, how would you deal with it? It's still, it's the same as it's sort of become now, really. Uh, emotions come and go, and there's no one there to claim them, to grasp them. So emotions, anger, comes right. up and then it goes away. And there is no censorship. So fear, mm -hmm. anger, all the emotions, pain, yeah. loss, sadness, happiness, all come and go. So how do you see them? You, you just see them arising in the field or you feel them arising inside your body? Where, where are these emotions? Emotions arise where? 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 There's a good are you question. asking me? <laughs> <laughs> where are they felt? They're felt physically and yes. emotionally, so they arise, yes. but there is no locality, there's no locality of me. So basically, let's say uh, you get upset or yeah. you, get, you, get, you would not say, I, I am upset, you would say, upsetness arises. Well, no, I wouldn't talk like that because no. nobody <laughs> would know what I was talking about. I mean, everything goes on for this mind body are yeah. the same as before yes feelings just come and go mm -hmm. but it seemed that that you know those images as if there's this body sitting here talking to you yeah. is part of oneness that's that's the sense yes. that there is as well so underneath yes. um the story in time you know i see there's a there's a person apparently sitting there yeah there's a there's a figure there's a character a personality and there's a, and a personality and a body here. Right. But at the same time, it sense that there is no separation, that mm -hmm. these images arise yes. in one being, which is what we are. That's the identity. Right. So there's really, underneath, isn't really the right word, but it's the nearest that I can get. Underlying this world of, of space and time is this one energy, and that's felt as the foundation. Right. And that's um, the emptiness. So we are yeah. nothing and, and everything arising. So there is no sense that there's a separation from everything in this room or everything when I'd move out into another space. Mm -hmm. When you had your experience of the transition, was there an, an energetic component? Yes, to this there's energy, because when there's the feeling of being a self in a body, you feel that this is the, you know, the skin yes. is the boundary. So there's an expansion out into everything. Mm -hmm. So that's an energetic expansion from being in a body. Oh, I'm in, in here, it's a bit frightening, the world is out there. That's a sense of being me. And then there's an energetic feeling outside. So that was the, the first feeling when I sort of, 
metomy was this expandedness that actually I'm not in here, mm -hmm. what I am isn't in here. So it feels that there's an, an expanded sensation. It's very difficult to describe in, into everything. So yes, yes, there is an energetic shift, if, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, and was there a restructuring of your mind? Um, some sort of reprogramming or... <laughs> um, um, no, I'd say that you know, everything no. seems to go on as before, really, pretty mm -hmm. much. I mean, there's sort of, there isn't as much, I think, you know, my husband said, a sort of, a, a sort of lump of neuroses seemed to fall away, you know, a, 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 some, yeah. a, some um, sense of being more at ease, but mostly it's just, you know, the personality, um, mm -hmm. you know, Helena, a, a woman in her 40s still, mm -hmm. uh, as she was before, really. And you're relating to people. Did something change there? Was, was that the same? Was it more impersonal or...? Um, the same. It's, it's the same. same. Nothing mm. sort of, you know, there isn't any sort of um, less love for, you know, my son and husband or, yeah. you know, special friends. Um, there isn't a feeling of sort of loving everybody. <laughs> That yeah. doesn't happen. Yeah. Still, people who wind me up and irritate me still wind me up and irritate me. You know? yeah. So that sort of all goes on. So it's just seen that all that stuff goes on for no one. But it's just as before through this person. So when this is still going on, um, will the, and you don't identify with the story, will the story come to an end? Will the story at one point Unwind itself with the death of this body. Yeah, that'll be the end only of with story, the death, death of the body, not not before. No, what what's changed? The story still goes on. This is yes. sort of awakening to the dreams. It's awakening, you know, to the fact that there seems to be um, a world of time and space. Mm -hmm. um, awakening from it is is death of the body, <laughs> but. Wasn't the story or the personality created in the first place to help us to wake up? There doesn't need to be any help because we are what we are is already awake. Yeah, but the way I the way I see it or um, I experience it, um, the story or the our ego structure is always a consciousness. Your ego structure is the consciousness. It's part of the whole thing. It's within consciousness. Part of one being. Everything yeah. is consciousness, and uh, it's just the lost part. Yeah, the, the part which disconnected somehow and is pretending it doesn't know. In it's order, pretending. it's yeah. pretending it doesn't pretending. know. It has to play its role, and. Um, create suffering and all kinds of things, but to push us. Wouldn't you see it that but way? there's no one here to push. It's, there's just one, there is just oneness. Pretending. So what is the story? 